Welcome back to the channel. If you've been wondering what Apple's next big move in desktop computing will be, buckle up because the Mac Mini M5 and Mac Studio M5 are shaping up to become two of the most powerful, efficient, and AI-driven machines Apple has ever built. The year 2026 could mark a massive turning point in Apple's desktop history, one that blends insane performance, on-device artificial intelligence, and the clean, silent power we've come to expect from Apple Silicon. So what's changing? Why is everyone so excited about the M5 chip? And how will the next generation Mac Mini and Mac Studio evolve in design, power, and performance? Let's break it all down. The dawn of the M5 era. The story begins with Apple's transition into the M5 era, a move that signals not just another performance bump, but an entire redefinition of what a personal computer can do. After shaking the industry with the original M1 and refining power efficiency with the M2, M3, and M4 chips, Apple's engineers are now stepping into a new age, one focused entirely on AI acceleration and on-device intelligence. The M5 is being described as the biggest leap forward since the original Apple Silicon chip. It's built on TSMC's third-generation 3-nanometer process, making it leaner, faster, and far more energy efficient. But what really sets it apart is Apple's integration of next-level neural engine cores designed specifically for artificial intelligence. These cores are capable of processing trillions of operations per second, enabling smarter workflows, real-time photo editing, and faster predictive processing for creative professionals. So far, we've already seen the first glimpses of the M5's potential in devices like the 14-inch MacBook Pro M5 and the iPad Pro M5, both of which launched in late 2025. Apple's official benchmarks claim up to 15% faster CPU speeds, 45% better GPU performance, and a massive 153 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. But that's just the beginning. The real question is, how will all this power translate into Apple's desktop lineup? The compact powerhouse, Mac Mini M5. Let's start with the smaller one, the Mac Mini M5. Over the years, the Mac Mini has evolved from a budget-friendly entry-level Mac to a true desktop beast capable of handling professional workloads. And now, with the M5 chip on the horizon, the 2026 model could completely redefine what a mini computer can do. According to multiple reliable insiders and early prototype leaks, Apple is currently testing several configurations of the Mac Mini, one featuring the base M5 chip and another rumored to pack the M5 Pro for users who demand extra muscle. One internal codename, J873S, has already surfaced in testing databases believed to correspond to a higher-end Mac Mini M5 Pro model. But what can we expect under the hood? The M5 chip is said to feature a 10-core CPU, four high-performance cores plus six efficiency cores, and a 10-core GPU, all built on that cutting-edge 3-nanometer process. Combined with Apple's latest neural engine, the M5 Mini will reportedly offer better multitasking, superior rendering speeds, and ultra-responsive app performance. Apple is also doubling down on AI processing on the desktop. This means tasks like photo correction, 3D rendering, and live video background editing could happen instantly, all offline, without the need for cloud servers. As for design, don't expect dramatic visual changes. The Mac Mini M5 will likely retain the 2024 redesign, that sleek, square, aluminum unibody with a slightly smaller footprint. However, some sources suggest Apple might introduce new color finishes or an optional matte black variant aimed at pro users. Connectivity will likely include Thunderbolt 5 ports, Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6E, and potentially dual HDMI outputs for multi-display setups. There's even speculation that Apple could support 8K external monitors through the upgraded GPU pipeline. And when it comes to memory and storage, Expect up to 32 gigabytes unified memory in the base M5 configuration and up to 64 gigabytes for the M5 Pro variant, all benefiting from that blazing fast 153 gigabytes per second unified memory bandwidth. If rumors hold true, Apple plans to launch the Mac Mini M5 sometime between late 2025 and early 2026, 
with a strong possibility of a March announcement at a spring event. This version isn't just about power. It's about unlocking AI-driven creativity on a budget-friendly desktop that still fits in the palm of your hand. In to the Titan Mac Studio M5. Now let's talk about the bigger beast, the Mac Studio M5. This machine, first introduced in 2022, has quickly become the go-to desktop for video editors, developers, and 3D artists. It bridged the gap between the Mac Mini and the ultra-expensive Mac Pro, delivering workstation-level power in a sleek, compact form factor. After the success of the M3 Ultra and M4 Max versions in 2025, Apple is preparing to take the Mac Studio to a whole new level with the M5 lineup. According to Insider Reports, the Mac Studio M5 could arrive in spring 2026, featuring both M5 Max and M5 Ultra chip variants. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg has even hinted that Apple is currently running internal tests on next-gen M5 chips across several desktop prototypes, suggesting that we might see the new Mac Studio sooner than expected. So what makes the M5 Studio special? The M5 Max chip could bring a 16-core CPU, 40-core GPU, and up to 512 gigabytes of unified memory, all while maintaining better efficiency and cooler thermals. The M5 Ultra, if launched, would likely double those numbers, with potentially up to 80 GPU cores and 1 terabyte of unified memory bandwidth. That's not just impressive, it's groundbreaking. Early engineering estimates point toward GPU performance rivaling high-end NVIDIA RTX 5090 cards, but with a fraction of the power draw and zero fan noise. The AI neural engine will also play a huge role here making creative workflows faster than ever, from live scene reconstruction to intelligent rendering in Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro. Design-wise, Apple is expected to keep the same minimalist chassis introduced in 2022, compact, quiet, and thermally optimized, but insiders believe Apple could tweak the cooling system to handle higher sustained power from the M5 Ultra. Expect improved port selection, including an additional front-mounted USB-C Thunderbolt 5 port, faster SD Express card slot, and possibly 10 gigabit Ethernet as standard. If this holds true, the Mac Studio M5 will become one of the most future-proof creative machines ever released, combining brute strength with Apple's eco-efficient design philosophy. The rise of AI-driven Macs. Here's where things get really interesting. The M5 generation is not just another silicon upgrade. It's the beginning of Apple's AI-first desktop strategy. Apple has been quietly building its AI ecosystem under the banner of Apple Intelligence, and the M5 chips are the hardware foundation for that plan. Expect Mac OS 16 and beyond to include features like real-time voice transcription and translation, context-aware Siri responses, smart photo editing that can isolate subjects or remove objects instantly, and integrated creative assistance inside Apple's Pro apps. All of this will be accelerated directly by the neural engine on M5 chips, meaning no data is sent to the cloud. Everything runs privately, securely, and instantly on your device. For video creators and 3D artists, this means automatic scene color correction, intelligent frame prediction, and dynamic rendering in Final Cut Pro, all without lifting a finger. For developers, Apple's integration of AI frameworks within Xcode could allow real-time code optimization and smarter debugging powered by the neural engine. And for casual users, it'll simply make the Mac feel more intuitive than ever before, responding to context, understanding commands, and learning your habits. The Mac Mini and Mac Studio M5 will essentially mark the first fully AI-native Macs setting the stage for what could become a completely new generation of personal computing. The design philosophy, form meets function. One thing Apple never compromises on is design. While the M5 Mini and M5 Studio may not bring dramatic external redesigns, every curve, port, and vents serve a purpose. The aluminum unibody construction ensures durability, silent cooling, and efficient heat dispersion. Some reports suggest Apple could experiment with graphene-based thermal materials for better cooling on the M5 Ultra variant, a move that would allow higher sustained performance without fan noise. As part of Apple's environmental push, 
Both machines are expected to use 100% recycled aluminum, rare earth magnets, and more energy-efficient power supplies, further reducing carbon footprint. It's not just about performance anymore. It's about sustainable power that aligns with Apple's 2030 carbon neutral goal. Mac OS Evolution, Talo, read for M5. By the time these desktops launch, Apple will likely unveil Mac OS 16 or 17, both of which are expected to take full advantage of the M5's AI cores and memory bandwidth. We could see new system level features like AI window management, automatic background blur and FaceTime, and real-time audio noise removal for podcasts and calls. Developers may also gain deeper access to Apple's machine learning frameworks, unlocking a new generation of Mac-exclusive apps that tap into the power of on-device AI. Imagine rendering a 4K video in Final Cut that predicts edits before you even complete them, or coding software that learns your habits and suggests real-time syntax adjustments. That's the world the M5 is leading us into. Pricing and release predictions. Now, let's talk numbers. Pricing hasn't been officially confirmed, but analysts expect Apple to maintain its current tier structure with slight increases due to the advanced manufacturing costs of the 3 nanometer process. Mac Mini M5 Base, starting around $699 to $799. Mac Mini M5 Pro, around $1,099 to $1,299. Mac Studio M5 Max, between $1,999 and $2,499. Mac Studio M5 Ultra could reach up to $3,999 or higher, depending on configuration. As for launch timing, insiders suggest Apple is planning a spring 2026 announcement, possibly during a March event, with pre-orders opening shortly after. There's also speculation that Apple might tease both devices at WWDC 2026 alongside macOS 17 before launching them in the second half of the year. Either way, the desktop Mac experience in 2026 will be completely transformed. Chapter 8. What it means for users. For developers, this means shorter compile times, better multitasking, and seamless virtualization support. For video creators, the Mac Studio M5 could enable real-time 8K rendering without external GPUs. And for general consumers, the Mac Mini M5 will deliver professional-level performance at a price that finally makes sense for home studios and small businesses. Apple is essentially bridging the gap between power and accessibility, giving every user access to workstation-class AI performance in a device that fits on any desk. Looking toward the future, beyond 2026, Apple is expected to continue scaling the M5 platform across its entire product lineup. The M5 Ultra may form the basis of the next generation Mac Pro, while the M5 Pro could eventually power future iMacs. There's even talk of Apple experimenting with hybrid chips, integrating dedicated AI processors into the CPU cluster for constant background intelligence. With every generation, Apple is tightening the bond between hardware and software. And with the M5, it's no longer just about performance. It's about intelligence, adaptability, and user-centric design. Chapter 10, Final Thoughts. So what's the takeaway? The Mac Mini M5 and Mac Studio M5 aren't just upgrades. They're statements. Statements that Apple is ready to dominate the AI computing era, not through brute force but through intelligent, efficient, and seamlessly integrated design. Whether you're a content creator, developer, musician, or simply someone who wants the best computing experience money can buy, 2026 could be the year to finally make that upgrade. The Mac Mini will bring the future of Apple Silicon into every home office, while the Mac Studio will push the limits of what's possible for professionals worldwide. And when these machines hit the market, one thing is certain. The future of the desktop Mac will never look the same again. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Deep Apple leaks, and turn on notifications, because we'll be covering every new detail as it drops. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious, stay creative, and stay tuned for the future of Apple.